And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone to News 5 at 4. Southern Colorado, you are looking live at our network of cams. And it is a beautiful end to the weekend here. Hardly any cloud cover in the sky across the state today. Instead, sunshine and temperatures that were about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than yesterday. And notice the spread in temperatures lining up right along the front ranges here. Areas west only currently seeing temps in the 20s and 30s, whereas the Eastern Plains today seeing current temps in the 40s, 50s and low 60s. It looks like Canyon City here in Southern Colorado, the warm spot on the map. And fortunately, still seeing some very light winds after last Wednesday's massive and destructive windstorm. Still talking about that, the newsroom, the amount of damage here that we've seen across Southern Colorado. Some gusty conditions out across northern parts of the San Luis Valley, but that's about it. Some strong gusts as well into the mountain areas, but generally speaking, those winds hovering around 25 to 35 miles per hour. Now we do see some stronger gusts here locally again by early next week. That combined with some very dry air and dry fuels does up the fire weather risk once again, talking about fire weather watches already being issued by the National Weather Service, most of Fremont County included, and the eastern part of Werfano County. These set to go into effect at 10 o'clock Tuesday morning. Now, before we get there, some breezes tomorrow, but overall almost a carbon copy repeat of what we saw today, and it is going to be absolutely spectacular for us here in Southern Colorado. Temperatures back into the 50s and even some low 60s across maybe the Arkansas River Valley out into the Eastern Plains. Temperatures by 6 o'clock cooling down pretty quickly as the sun sets on our Monday here, the final Monday of fall. That would be tomorrow. Take a look at the hour by hour forecast. We are cold in the morning, frigid in Pueblo with temperatures in the teens around 6 a.m. But look at the warm up. I have us right near 60 degrees by the middle of the afternoon and up near 55 or so into the spring. So warm air mass moves back in from the desert southwest and it really doesn't go anywhere through the middle of the week. Finally, towards the end of the week, the ridge begins to flatten as we get a very potent system that pushes back into the west coast. Cooler conditions and unsettled weather moves into southern Colorado as we make our way towards the end of the week. But let's break down some of those changes. Mostly yet again, a mountain driven storm. They'll see some heavier snow by Thursday into Friday. A slight chance Friday morning across the I-25 corridor, although I think wind is going to be a bigger component of that late week storm. And for Christmas Day, we talked about the potential for a white Christmas that reserved for areas out into the mountains. So if we look at this national blend model, you can see through Friday morning, most of the snow piles up in the mountain areas, which is very little moisture expected out towards Teller County and parts of the Pikes Peak region. Tonight's lows down to the 20s around Woodland Park, Colorado Springs and Monument 15, one of the cooler spots in Pueblo. Highs tomorrow warming into the 50s and 60s with some chiller chilly 30s out into the mountain valleys. Take a look at the super seven day forecast. Tuesday is the winter solstice and we do have some stronger breezes expected with gusts around 20 in the Pikes Peak region and staying fairly mild most of the week. I did add a chance of a flurry Friday morning. Otherwise, the end of the week does look windy for Pueblo. We'll see temperatures here almost into the 60s every day except tomorrow and for the winter solstice a high of 64 degrees. Canyon City the dry streak of weather expected to continue with maybe a slight chance of a morning rain or snow shower on Friday and for Woodland Park we've got dry conditions through Thursday possibly some snow showers here as we head towards the very end of the week and of course that would be Christmas Eve. 